So Dakota Norton now. Another rider like Trevor leaving Whitey to uh, a new team in Tech Factory Racing for him. Pretty crazy project that I've started. I've always wanted to have my own place. I bought a house that needed a ton of work, so I've been slowly turning this place into where I want to live and train and, and hang around. Get us from, 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 from. Day two. So yesterday I pretty much got to the point where I didn't really feel it necessary to ride anymore. It was so scary out there. Um, it's just really tough. Like the end of the day, it got super peanut buttery and it was hard to even get through the lower of the track. I was still on mud tires and I should have went to dry. So kind of decided to go back to dry tires today to hopefully have a little bit more control through the bottom of the track, which is gonna make a sacrifice up top, but I think in the whole middle will roll a little faster. Rain came, so there should be more traction. Who knows for qualifying? I mean, it's a great day to be qualified through this final, I tell you. I would be in a, having a much different attitude if we weren't qualified. <laughs> I'd be stressed right now, but mm. just kind of get through the day, really, and see what the weather brings tomorrow. It's been such a crapshoot so far. I mean, yeah, it's a good opportunity to get some points today especially with maybe a lot of the dudes, fast dudes outside of protection, maybe just trying to ride a bit safer. So kind of get close to that line today. Definitely crossed it yesterday. Whenever the clock starts ticking, I tend to go into this race mode. And I think out of time training, out of crash yesterday. So it's good to learn that I uh, maybe just need to chill a little bit. Let the weekend come to me. So that's, that's the goal. Dude, uh, I came out of the yeah, starting gate like, strong, like, rode the top, road, amazing. Yeah. Felt like I hit my marks all the way through the track, was consistent, didn't didn't ride uncomposed, and nursed it through the first section, hammered on the pedal, and then I'm going down the steep chute halfway down the track, and I hear my derailleur in my wheel. So, snap the hanger, rip the derailleur off. Dude, didn't even hit it on anything. I don't know, maybe the mud packed up and snapped the hanger, so down in the gnarliest section of the track. I got the cranks locked and I'm just like trying to survive and scootered the pedal, ran it home. Just more than anything, just pissed. I mean, it sucks. You work so hard, you hit all your marks and stuff still goes wrong. So i um, happy to still be in the show, happy to take some confidence from the speed and maybe we'll get to get them tomorrow, but we'll see. You usually want to qualify at the top of the show and, and be have the driest track possible and be with all your peers and the top dudes and I just feel like didn't get to show that today. Didn't get to show what we had so excited for tomorrow. You think you're gonna come to like snowshoe and have this glorious experience and crush it on home turf and the people are gonna go wild. I spent my whole weekend crashing. My hands all blown up, my shin swollen, jiggles going down the track. 
I had an absolute failure of a race run. Everything that makes racing hard, like all the failures, not failures, but like the fears, the fear of racing, when it just comes true and you're like, and it's just not, it's like time, you, you, you wish you could like reverse time and go back and do it all over again, but what's done is done. It's done and dusted. Shows in the number plate, kind of beats your confidence up, but you live to fight another day. Come on, I'm all covered in mud. You don't want my signature. Thank you so much. Thank you.